Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. So, oh, uh, sorry, if you hear any background noise, don't worry, that's uh, just my little brother. Just say hi little bro in the comments for him. Thank you. Anyhow, we're learning about compound interest. Okay? If you haven't watched the simple interest video, go watch that because I might be covering the difference between simple and compound interest here. But I don't think I'll actually be doing that. So if you want the difference, go to the simple interest video and you'll find it there. I anyhow recommend you to do that because this builds on the topic of simple interest, okay? I recommend you to do that to get everything you need to know. Got it? Thank you, everyone. So, what is compound interest? Well, do you remember simple interest? Yes? No? I'm hearing a bunch of answers, but uh, assuming that you have heard Compound interest, as you've seen from the simple interest video, is exponential growth. Starts out small and then goes really fast. So, yeah. Basically, how compound interest works is like this. You have a value, we'll say n, if you haven't watched the algebra video, go watch that. If you're confused or something, why I'm using n for a value, go watch that if you are confused. Anyhow, I'm just going to use n as a value, a placeholder value. So compound interest will say it's 4 4%. Okay? We'll say it's 4%. So you have so you, for the first year, it's n plus 4% of n. And then we'll call that new value O. Now, on the second year, instead of it being uh, O plus 4% of n, like, instead of that, what, it, what we'll actually do is take O plus 4% of O, Then instead, we'll take O plus 4% of O, and then we'll call that P. Now, as you might realize, of course, N is smaller than O, and O is smaller than P. Yeah. But the differences between them will get greater and greater, and it'll get faster and faster the more you deposit. It works in the exact same way, okay? Now, I'll give you a formula. A equals P times 1 plus R to the power of T. Now, if you're confused about what this is, go watch the exponents video, okay? Coming soon. Or maybe now. Who knows? Anyhow, when it is released, go watch it if you're confused or go and research yourself, okay? Now, if you have watched the simple interest video, which I'm going to assume you have because it's core to this, you'll see that we still have P, R, and T, but they're all in different places, right? Well, now, instead of this being able to calculate only the interest that you get, this calculates the principal plus the interest. If you want to find only the interest, you have to take P minus A. Then you get the interest. Otherwise, this A is just the full amount, P plus the interest. Okay? Good. So now we'll just say that P is, again, 100 times 1 plus, and then we'll take R as 20%. So it's just 0 0.2. Very simple. 
to the power of t, which again will take it four years. So 1.2 to the power of four. Now I and you don't think we can calculate this. So just use your calculator, okay? I'm actually gonna use my calculator now. Let's see, we have 1.2. Uh, to the power of four. Let's see. And that's uh, 2.07, uh, that's a zero, three, six. Okay. And now we need 100 times 2.0736. Then we move this back and Now we have 207.36, and that's the full amount that we'll get, okay? It's the full amount. Very simple. Very, very simple. Now I'm going to give you a problem. Don't count this as homework, okay? But just... If you can, please answer it in the comments, okay? This is just a practice problem for you. And this will be covering both simple and complex interest practice problems. So, for simple interest, say that a person, uh, a person whose name is, I don't know, you can just name the person whatever you want. I'll just call Alice, you know, because I'm a sucker for Alice in Wonderland. I love that story. Uh, anyhow, so we'll say Alice represented by a circle. A, which is circled to differentiate it from uh, the amount. So, what we'll do is, we'll assume that Alice has deposited 1,000 dollars or rupees or whatever your local currency is. I'm just going to take dollars since it's widely used. Okay? So, 1,000 dollars for four years... And then we'll take the simple interest rate of 4.2%. I won't give the answers in this video, but I want you to just try and discuss the answer within yourselves, okay? Simple, right? So Alice has $1,000 in the bank. 4.2% simple interest rate for four years. Now, for complex interest, assume that it's the same parameters. Okay. Now, use the formulas that I taught you and find the difference between this, the complex interest uh, value and the simple interest value. Okay. So, it's complex interest minus simple interest equals the answer, which I'll represent by this A, okay? Now, I want you to do that and discuss the answer, okay? I want you to discuss the answer within yourselves. Good? Good. So, thank you, everyone, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.